Well, I'm, uh, I'm just a, an architect, <laughs> an architect who, who, who likes architecture and I love to, to, to work on a good project, good design, try to produce the best design. Actually, I, I love all kinds of food. We, we like to explore uh, the Japanese food, other than Thai food. Thai food is, uh, we love Thai food, uh, obviously. <coughs> and um, Japanese food, uh, mm -hmm. French, Italian. That's, uh, I think, mainly we're going for when, when we go out. It means that uh, a city that could adapt to to the situation, to the crisis, the water crisis, uh, that somehow you you are more uh, you can adjust to it, adapt to it. And uh, if I refer to uh, something that uh, maybe uh, in the in the book that we we did last mm -hmm, year. Yeah. The water break uh, that uh, we compare the two per uh, perception. One is uh, liquid, and one is uh, solid. Uh, liquid perception would mean two adaptive cities mm -hmm. uh, that you you are flexible to be with water. Uh, more 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 like that, but where. Uh, solid perception would be to totally defend and deny, uh, deny, but not living with it. So adaptive city would be closer to this liquid uh, perception. It's, it's quite obvious. It's quite obvious that uh, the Dutch has uh, uh, a very a lot of experience uh, dealing with water. Um, well, we need to learn from them, for sure. And, uh, and in fact, we should learn uh, also good and bad <coughs> thing, and, and and analyze it very carefully. Uh, but uh, Dutch is also, it's one of them. I mean, one one of the list on the top of the list. I don't know. I, I think uh, I, I do anything, you know, that comes up because I think it's, uh, it's real. And, but, but right now, when you think of it, what you can do is very basic, you know. But uh, uh, the authority has to realize that. So maybe the first step is to, to, to uh, move on. Uh, and try to persuade the uh, the authority to do something uh, very simple uh, that is not done. It, it seems like you have a basic problem, and 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 to handle that, you have to know yourself exactly by surveying and, and know exactly what we have, and then then lots of theory in terms of protection. It's very clear, like of the whole country, not only Bangkok. You know, you would have to. If everybody who who is interested in this issue, they would they would understand the the concept of how to protect uh, Thailand. One one is that the, you would have from the north, you would have to put a lot of forest. Uh, Okay, and then you would have a big bridge of war everywhere. Everywhere you can to prolong and keep the water and manage the water. And then when, when it comes down to an area where uh, the city is along the main flood line, you divert it. Everybody knows that. And when it comes down to, to uh, the Thai Gulf, then if you worry so much about uh, sponsors, then you would have death. This is a very, uh, very uh, simple, but uh, 
reservoir and, and putting forest, it's obvious, you know, that you could do it right away also. Mm -hmm. Forest, for example. I don't know to what effort they're doing, but it seems that we can do more.